we didn't say, oh, let's go off together and see a film, or oh. I know, let's all go out for the day and have a picnic, or something like that. We, d we didn't ever do that. That's too bad. I mean, I, I've heard, uh, Doug told me that once uh, he remembered you guys doing some publicity stuff, like an appearance and being mobbed by fans. Oh, yeah, that was weird. That was strange, because it was... We'd actually finished filming um, sometime before the, the series came out. Um, and so we hadn't seen each other for a while, for about six months. And then we were all brought together again for this publicity stuff when the series came out. And then I think the series came out over here in January, something like that. I'm not absolutely sure. And then later that year, in the summer, we were asked to go and open this enormous park um, up in Manchester. And so off we all went up to Manchester to do this. And it was really very bizarre. I do remember we got on top of this bus and um, we were driven through and there were all these kids kind of shouting and mobbing us. And it was really interesting because when I talked to Brinsley about that, I said to him, I found that quite frightening. And he said, oh, no, he said, I found it so exciting. <laughs> and it was like the difference because I think maybe that was a, you know, a gender thing, really, that I actually found it a bit intimidating. Um, and I thought, hmm, I'm not sure about this. And the boys kind of went, oh, great. Lots of girls all waving at us. <laughs> but I, I remember, I mean, I, I, there was a, I remember I had one quite, quite difficult moment. I was on a, I was on a, a tube in London and there were a whole load of kids and they came over to me and they went, yeah, you're in Double Deckers, aren't you? And I said, uh, and they went, go on then, sing us a song. And I said, um, no, I don't think so. And they went, yeah, go on, sing us a song. And I remember thinking, I really hope the train stops and I can get out at the next station. And they went, go on, go on, do us a dance, go on. If you go on then. And it was, it was really, and I remember thinking, oh, no, I don't like that. Because I was very much sort of put on the spot. Um I mean, I was on my own, so... And there, there were about sort of five or six of them, and I just remember thinking... I, I found that aspect... I mean, on the whole, it was really nice when, you know, people come up and say, oh, we really like the show, or... But um, odd moments like that, I remember thinking, oh, uh, that's a bit scary. Uh. And I often think when you see the kind of... the pop star being mobbed, I think actually it, 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 it does have a very strange other side, because you are very separated... And it's very much that people are perceiving you as one thing, but they're not thinking that you are actually who you are. You're another person. Right. Me. And I, I think that's always fascinated me, and that's uh, that sort of split between the performer, the persona of the performer, and the persona of, of the real person. And yeah. Where the two, you know, overlap. As I say, they'll say, kind of, excuse me, but do I know you? But I know that there can be, I mean, I think it, there are places where it can get pretty kind of heavy. But I think it's also dependent on the situation. If you're set up like in a publicity thing, then obviously the idea is they want lots of people to kind of come and see you. So, and then that's slightly different because you know what you're yourself in for. But it's, it's not, you know, not when you're going about your business on your own. <laughs> um, Yes, then it's, then, it's, then it's a little bit different, I think. But on the whole, I think people in England, I think that's why a lot of movie stars like coming to England, because there is kind of quite a respect. People would just nod or smile or wave or, you know, say hello or whatever, but they won't actually kind of press in on them in that way. Yeah, but I, I, didn't, guess I didn't have to. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't that famous, so I didn't have too much of that. <laughs> and I think it was more with, with kids. It was much more the sort of thing of, of they're, they're you know, much more... Oh, I remember you, and and because you're, I think because you become part of um, the child's life in a way, because they're watching you on the screen. There is a level of ownership which is different because it's a familiarity, isn't it? It's like, oh, you're one of us. But I used to get lots of fan mail, which my mother thought was very funny. But she used to make me sit down and write back every to everybody. Oh no. Yeah, and it was like it was like you know at Christmas when you say now you've got to write your thank you letters. And uh, my mum used to say, OK, now, you've got to sit down on a Sunday, you've got to write your letters. So I used to do that. But, uh, but that was nice.